Damon, it's very nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, welcome back in Belgium, I have to say. You just played uh, in Lokeren again. How was it? It was... Oh, we played here before? Yeah. Oh, did we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> to, to, to 2012, 10 years ago. It was great. I felt like almost like I was reintroducing myself in that kind of way. So it felt very fresh. It's a little bit cold tonight. Yeah. But overall, it was a nice vibe, you know? Is it important? Because we... It's maybe a little bit of a cliché. But when we hear music like you make, we always think about good weather. Is, is the temperature and sunshine important for the music you make? Or is that something that really doesn't matter? Not really. Personally, personally, I prefer to... I like to sweat when I'm on stage. It helps my voice, it helps all of these things. So personally, I like to be hot on stage. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but I don't think... Musically, I don't think it matters, no. no. Um, for you, you've been you're playing for a long time, of course, mm -hmm. um, and it's always interesting to hear what you what you're making right now because you collaborate with a lot of interesting people uh, from all kinds of music. You work with Nas, with Jay Z, even with Mick Jagger. Um, is it is it difficult when you have all those collaborations uh, to do it live on your own? Because I guess it's it's rather difficult to play those songs because those persons uh, are there. De depends on the song. So, for example, tonight I played I played a song from the album with Naz and myself, mm -hmm. a song called Sabali. But on that song, I have a lot of the verses, mm -hmm. so it, it, so it's enough for me to make it a complete song for the stage, where other songs may not make as much sense because it, my part is too short. You know, so it, does, it depends on the song. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes we know the remix is also like the Skrillex uh, song, of course. We did that tonight yeah, too. I, I heard yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Um, so people recognize the, those songs and then they also hear, of course, songs that your father make. How important is it for you uh, to, to keep that legacy alive? You know, I always say this. If you ask me in an interview, I will tell you it's very important. But that's not really what I think about when I'm playing those songs or when I put, you know, we play the songs because we love them. We grew up to these songs, our dad, we're proud of our dad. He's not here to play his music, so we play it. Uh, so it's not something that has so much thought of is important more than it, it just feel good. Mm -hmm. But then if you ask me, I would say, yes, it is important. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, when, we, when we hear the music that you make, we. Uh, automatically think about uh, Jamaica. That's also where you grew up, but you also live in, in the States. Um, how, how important is, is it for you to go back to Jamaica sometimes? Well, Jamaica is home. Mm -hmm. So, regardless of where I live anywhere, that is where I grew up. That is, you know, that Jamaica made me who I am. And that is, my family is still there. My mom still lives in Jamaica. You know what I mean? So, it, so it's still home. Uh, when I took a look at your website, I saw there's a special part called Medication, which is also uh, a song of yours. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is more like a, a project uh, that I saw where people are talking about how uh, marijuana changed their life and did something important for them. Could you talk a little bit more about that project? Yes, well, all right. So, that is not a really a project more than trying to inform people, you know. Because now that you see that marijuana has, the laws have become more relaxed in a lot of countries, what's happening is that people can do more legitimate research. And so we can show the proof that marijuana, or cannabis, as we like to say, actually helps in healing people. So you know, I was saying even on stage tonight that, you know, cannabis is saving lives. It's not just about smoking and getting high. We like that too, but the more important thing is really that it saves lives you know so we want to inform people of this because people have this idea of herb that has been forced on them that they are a lot of people are afraid you know what i mean but we want to inform people to not to embrace it because there can be a lot of benefits for for all of us not just because if you smoke or if you like get feeling good it's it's beneficial to your health mm -hmm. saving lives you know Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and some kind of, yesterday you were in the Netherlands, it's, it's legal uh, to smoke uh, cannabis there. In Belgium, officially, it's not legal, but people do it anyway. Uh, is that maybe also some, some hypocr hypocrisy that, that's, still, um, that's still around? Time heals wounds. 
you know. So as I said, we see that more and more there's, you know, every, as time goes on, there's more places that embrace it. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe Belgium needs a little bit more time. Maybe next time when you come back in, in Loken, and hopefully it will be, it will be different. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe one thing about music. Um, this year you released a song with uh, Sean Paul. Yeah. Um, are there any other new songs, new work, maybe new collaborations coming up? Well, my most recent release is a song that I've done with an artist I'm working with on our label called Kabak. His, his name is Kabaka Pyramid. And we just released a song together called Red, Gold and Green, which is in tribute of the Ethiopian flag the old school Ethiopian flag that we as people of Rasta faith embrace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if you look, you, you know red, gold and green, that's almost like the flag of reggae music. You go to any reggae concert, you're going to see someone, see there's red, gold and green. You know what I mean? You see red, gold and green all over the place. But a lot of people don't really, really, especially the younger generation, don't understand the root of it, of where it really comes from and what it signifies. So the song that we're promoting now is a lesson in what those colors mean. Mm -hmm. you know? It was also how we started with that video, and then we saw also uh, one of your people on stage was also waving a flag. Always. Uh, and why is it so important that somebody's doing that? Well, it represents us. It represents our faith. It represents our culture. Um, yeah, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I've got one more question. So this festival. Um, it lasts 10 days, which is quite a long time, but it's looking great because the weather is great and we have interesting artists just like yourself. And we thought, well, each day we would like to ask one specific artist if he could give maybe some, an interesting quote, maybe some, some wisdom. And if he could, if he could put it on a, on a thing like this, if you could write down something that you want to share maybe with, with the people, something that we can pass to them. Is there a certain message you could write down on this, uh, this piece of stone? That's nice. Is there, is there something you could say about it or? Live. Life is for man to live. So let man live life. Maybe that's also a very good advice to start a, a very long festival here in Lokeren. Good. We're gonna live. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks. Respect.